All right, guys, today we are going to make a cloud in a jar. So um, if you can get a jar, well, really you could use a clear cup as long as it's clear and you can see through it because you need to be able to see what's happening. So a jar or a clear plastic cup would be fine or a glass from home would be fine. Um, just make sure that you have somebody assisting you while you do this. So what we're gonna be doing is trying to show what's happening with a cloud. So in order to represent the cloud, we're gonna put some shaving cream in here. You can get shaving cream pretty cheap at the dollar store, um, places like that, all right? So you just have fun. and put all sorts of shaving cream in there. I'm trying to get a nice big cloud. Okay, woo! All right, so let me see if I can point this down. All right, so you can see my um, cloud here in my jar. All right, so now we're gonna try and represent the rain, okay? So remember how we've talked about when rain or when you know the sun heats up the water and it causes evaporation and then all of that uh, all those water molecules come together and they form a cloud and that's that condensation they're all coming together well when there gets to be too many it gets too heavy and it falls down so we're going to represent that with our food coloring now you can use any color food coloring you want we're gonna use blue, because we have some. All right, now this thing is full, full, full. All right, let me see if I can do this, so I can even get to it. All right, so you just start putting some food coloring in here, and that's gonna represent your, um, your rain coming down on your, on your cloud right here, okay? So you might have to Put, put quite a bit, and that's okay. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to, trying to get my jar ready. So you just keep adding, adding, adding in that food coloring, because remember, our water just keeps um, coming together into those clouds until finally there's too much, and it's too heavy. And when it gets that way, okay, here we go. My shaving cream is just having a time right now. Okay, so when we, there we go. Now you can see that, okay. We had to try for a second. All right, so you can see here, once that rain gets too heavy in that cloud, there's too much, it's too heavy, it has to fall down. So you see that that's representing that cloud in a jar. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that cool? So remember, as um, the sun heats up the water and it causes evaporation, all of it's gathering together, that condensation that forms a cloud. But when there's too much and it gets too heavy, it has to come back down as precipitation. And that's what we see right here. 